Crossing YouTube's red lines, the platform permanently bans two of Arty's German language channels for allegedly violating its community guidelines. Arty's editor-in-chief calls it a full-fledged declaration of media war by Germany on Russia. Good evening and thanks for your company. This is RT International. Let's start with news about our sister project, that's RT Deutsch. YouTube has deleted two of RT's German language channels, citing alleged community guideline violations. Such bans are nothing new to RT, but this time it is said to be permanent. Russia's media regulator has weighed in, threatening YouTube's parent company Google with a $14,000 fine if the RT channels aren't allowed to broadcast again. RT's correspondent, Konstantin Roshkov, took me through what happened. RT has been crying foul over unfair treatment on YouTube for, for years, and the relationship between the platform and the network has been strained, especially in the recent years. Uh, but this is actually the first time when one of our flagship YouTube channels that is run by our colleagues in Germany, RT Deutsch, uh, is shut down completely. I mean, now, not uh, suspended, not shadow banned, but uh, completely shut down. This is new. This is truly un. Uh, precedented and uh, you know the popularity of RT among the German speaking audience has been growing in recent years uh, just to give you some numbers RT Deutsch had a total of almost 547 million views on its YouTube channel with uh, six over 600 uh, thousand subscribers and uh, was among the top German news outlets on that platform. Uh, in June alone, RT Deutsch gathered over 21 million views, almost as much as uh, a Spiegel TV received. One of the countries, Spiegel is one of the country's uh, you know major media outlets uh, that has been around for decades. So RT Deutsch managed to put up a fight against uh, uh, major German media outlets out there. And of course, this uh, hasn't gone unnoticed. Uh, there's been a lot of German politicians who have repeatedly called for uh, curbs on RT in the country. And it's no secret that RT has been uh, struggling uh, to open a uh, broadcast uh, a television station in Germany for years, uh, facing both uh, hidden and overt resistance. So. You know, all in all, it's been an extremely harsh and hostile environment for fellow uh, jour journalists in Germany. Permanent ban suggests some serious wrongdoing. Um, what, what was the crime? Um, so what we know. First, RT Deutsch's uh, main YouTube channel was given several COVID-related strikes, which culminated in a temporary suspension. Now, we'll get back to this later, but now let me just explain you how things unfolded. Because they have their main YouTube channel stopped, shut down. Uh, RT Deutsch's uh, team uh, decided to continue sharing content, but on their second page that is uh, belonged to one of their shows. Uh, just for the record, uh, this was different content, not, which, uh, not that which had been flagged by YouTube as inappropriate, but nonetheless, uh, both pages were deleted permanently without any warnings uh, from YouTube whatsoever. Now, what's interesting is that there are no clear rules saying that you cannot run a separate page or start a new one if you are suspended on YouTube for, uh, for some reason. And again, RT Deutsch didn't republish any videos that they received uh, strikes for on that second page. Uh, they just uh, transferred some of their news stories, general news stories to the second page. And um, those were just regular, like I said, regular news stories. We know that RT Deutsch uh, uh, has been covering a lot of protest against COVID restrictions uh, lately. It, it's a heated topic in Germany and uh, not a lot of uh, you know, mainstream German media outlets dare to give this topic a fair, a fair and uh, a balanced coverage. So, but it is what it is. Has uh, YouTube or, or any of its uh, owners offered a, an explanation just to clarify exactly what is happening? Yeah, sure. But I mean, as usual in these cases, the explanation is vague. And uh, YouTube uh, sent a message to our colleagues in Germany saying that there were, quote, repeated violations of uh, community guidelines. And, uh, well, this is basically it. <laughs> you know, get out of... Uh, uh, of the platform. Now, Google, which owns YouTube, we approached them and asked for clarification on that story. So they gave us more details. Let's have a listen to what they said. 
YouTube has clear community guidelines which explain what is allowed on the platform. RT Deutsch was issued a warning for uploading content that violates our rules in relation to COVID-19 medical misinformation policy. This resulted in the suspension of their right to upload videos. During the suspension, the channel's owners tried to bypass the restrictions by using a different channel. As a result, both channels were closed for violating YouTube's terms of service. Well, now it's the time to get back to those initial strikes uh, that led to uh, this uh, supposedly temporary suspension of RT Deutsch's uh, main YouTube channel. Um, as you just heard from Google, uh, uh, it says that it has something to do with uh, um, so-called medical misinformation. Well, we checked with our colleagues in Germany and they told us that there are four videos in question and all of them contain um, uh, criticism of the government's approach of dealing with the pandemic voiced not by journalists but voiced by other uh, medical experts in germany and uh don't forget rt deutsch didn't republish this these videos uh, uh on their second channel they just transferred some of their uh content traffic to the second page and uh that's what they did this is something they did in the past uh it was okay no consequences, no red flags from YouTube. So they assumed that if they do this this time around, it's going to be fine. Well, it turned out that it's not. I mean, obviously, that's a big part of um, the work that RT Deutsch does, you know, publishing uh, the stories they cover on social media. Uh, I would imagine that the company's not taken to this very kindly. What's the RT reaction been? Sure. So, uh, you know, among the first who reacted to the story in Russia was our own editor-in-chief, uh, uh, Margarita Simanyan. Uh, she said that what uh, uh, has just happened in Germany amounts to a declaration of uh, media war on Russia by Germany. So let's uh, listen to what she said. So this time they dimmed it in attempt to circumvent the restrictions. When we invited our audience to our second channel, well, our first channel was serving a sentence for a far-fetched violation of community guidelines, which was slapped on us for airing interviews with critics of COVID-19 measures. It wasn't the first time we invited our audience to our second channel, but only today did they decide to ban both. At the same time, anti-vaxxers, terrorists and fascists of all kinds are quietly broadcasting on YouTube. They have repeatedly said outright that they shadow ban us and don't let us in. But this turned out to be not enough. We grew despite their not letting us in. Now they've simply deleted us. This is a full-fledged declaration of media war by Germany towards Russia. Russia's media watchdog uh, Roskomnadzor says it deems YouTube's recent action in Germany against RT Deutsch as an act of censorship, which is unacceptable. And the organization also said that uh, YouTube in Russia might face a fine up to uh, uh, 14, little less than 14,000 US uh, dollars. Now, Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova also weighed in by saying that this was an act of uh, aggression against RT Deutsch and that there is going to be a symmetrical response directed at German media working in uh, Russia. The statement doesn't clarify what exactly that means, but uh, I guess our German colleagues should uh, be bracing for the worst.